breaking news, my wonderful people. Strange things are happening. Yes, so very strange things are sincerely and truly happening. APC women leader grabbed over non-payment for Tinubu's rally amidst promises. So we brought you up to speed that um, some group of women in legal state, including addresses, joined along the queue. Apparently, they promised the women that they will pay them. And like our brother Dino Malaya said, there is hunger in the land. So a lot of people will do things, anything for money. So apparently some people were paid, okay, some people were paid to join in the rally for Tinubu and they were promised that they will be given some amount of money. However, it's like this money, you know, the promise has, fall, has not fall through. So they are very much unhappy amongst all that is happening. They are not uh, particularly happy. And then um, they've not come grab APC women leader asking, you know, asking why they come, they grab APC women leader asking why, you know, you know, she should be, why she should be, you know, why she should be, she should not pay what she has promised them that they will not accept it. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. APC women's leader grabbed over non-payment for Tinubu's rally amidst promises that were given to them asking them to come and stand hundreds of women from the all progressive congress apc who tripped out on wednesday to march in solidarity for the party's presidential flag bearer ashiwaju ahmed bola tinubu were disappointed that they were not paid for their efforts eventually they were prom according to their one of them they were promised that they will they will be paid and that's why they left their daily job and duties and came out in the match. Correspondents gathered from some of the women who were rushing home between three to four after being dished by the heavily downpour that flooded the city of Oweri, Imo State, the capital, made, human, made humans and vehicle movement difficult and nothing was given to them. One of the women in her 60s lamented, that they were out here since morning. They were promised that they would be paid, only to be discharged unceremoniously. The only woman in her 50s who asked whether they were, they were appreciated or not simply said, I don't know, she, because she suspected that the person talking to her, questioning her, was a journalist. Another woman who was patiently waiting along the bank road to a, to the to board a vehicle in in a laurel road opened up to the reporter we have been here to we are yet to see anything after all the promises they made to us they promised us they will give us money they promised us heavily but nothing was done we are yet to see anything we've been here since morning we never agreed to any of this however effort by a correspondent to get the emo state women leader to comment on the issue proves abortive as her line was switched off after the allegations that they were promised money but refused to be paid. So, in Lagos, they never pay. In uh, Oweri, they never pay. You see what they happen. This is what is happening right now. This is what is going on. And everybody can see for themselves. And everybody can see for themselves what is happening. Why don't I go promise people money and I don't go pay? Eh, hope. Hope and women leader in Lagos. People should pay people their money. Eh? You call people out, you tell them to come and campaign for Tinobu, that they'll be given money, but none of them has been given anything. And you can see how things are happening. You can see for yourself. This is absurd. This is unimaginable. And the way things have gone has proved to every one of us that, you know, Nigerians, we can see that um, some people allow themselves to be used. Please talk to your mom. Talk to your mom, talk to your sisters. They should not allow themselves. I understand that there is hunger in the land. I understand that they've promised them maybe 5,000 5, naira and they've thought about it. Even if I go to market, will I gain 5,000 that day? Maybe I should go for this rally. Remember that when you are going, you are selling away your child. Just remind your mom or your auntie or your sister. You are selling away your mom for your children, future, them going to school uninterrupted education for 5,000 naira. Just remember that. Just remember that. Tell your mom, tell your sisters. They pay them, 
they tell they promise them maybe five thousand or ten thousand naira because I don't I can't imagine what we make them all come out. Yes, and now they are all complaining that they were not paid, that they've been there since morning and none of them were paid. Is this right? They came out there, they've been there. Hope you not pay your people. Women's leader in Lagos, you not pay your people. Everybody's complaining. Eh? They came down, they were dancing Bugao. People were plenty. They came out. So this is what is going on. Nigerians, let's open our eyes. Oh. They say shine your eye. Shine your eye. You know, shine your eye. Let's open our eyes. Let's not allow things go from bad to worse before we do anything. Let's ensure that we do the right thing. Again and again, let's do the right thing. Okay? Let's do the right thing. Let's not allow these people to take advantage of that which belongs to us. Let's not allow it. It has gotten so far so bad that, you know, some people are being paid now to come out for campaign. You know when Dino said it, some people thought that he was just speaking, you know, because Dino said it to demand the, the obedient rally. But to be quite candid and honest is what's going on. Because some other people have been doing it. That's why Dino could say that word. It's because some people have been doing it. Some of them have been doing it. He said to gather a crowd in this country is easy. It's cheap because people are hungry. That was Dino's words. We produced to you that video. That was his words, not mine. He said people are hungry. So if you call them, give them money, they will say, I'll go take my own. That was what Dino said. And this is exactly what is happening. Make I go take my own. And this is what has brought people to where they currently are at the moment, at this point in time. Everybody is quiet and watching these things and you'll be surprised, you know, at everything that is going on. If we don't rise up to the occasion, we'll be surprised at what will follow. We'll be surprised. Remember that you've got a voice, so we must speak out against everything and anything that will not move us forward. You'll be surprised. And so if we want change, we have to go for it. We have to go for the change. We cannot allow this to go on. We can't allow this to happen. We can't allow it. If you want things to change, you have to work for it. You know, tell your parents, tell them. It can't be business as usual. We are fighting for something to change. If they are not along with us, the country is not about the youth alone. It cuts across. And so it has, been, it has to be, it has to go on every, every spectrum. Every aspect of us needs to understand what's going on in this country. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.